All right, guys, day two. You guys saw what happened yesterday. Not, not real good. Managed to get it fixed. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I had to do to get it out. We're gonna go take out the uh, flywheel and continue from there. Do you love coffee? Do you wanna learn how to cut metal? Do you wanna learn how to weld? Do you enjoy gratuitous ass shots? Do you love America? <laughs> Well, this might just be the show for you. Okay, guys, so if you can see here, what I did was I took a crowbar, put it in one of the teeth, and then wedged it up against the ground. So that way I could get this on and basically break them all loose. And now they're all basically hand tight. Um, so I'm gonna take those off, and then hopefully we'll be able to pop this puppy off. We'll be good to go. Carefully remove it. Don't drop it on your face. So we'll have to clean that out, obviously. But there we go. Boom. Okay guys, now for the removal of the uh, pilot bearing. So this time, what we're gonna do so we're gonna take this socket here, put it on there, and hammer it out. Normally this wouldn't be as difficult because we wouldn't have that thing right there, but what are you gonna do? You know? Boom. Justice. Problem solved. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Remain seal. Out. Okay, let's clean that up a little bit and then put the new one in. Woo! Not necessarily the uh, proper way to do it, but it's the way we're going to do it. So, here we go. There we go. Okay. Good enough. The flywheel. All right, just cleaned off the new flywheel right here. Got some Loctite we're gonna use for the uh, bolts, and we're gonna attach it back onto it right now. Let's do it. I got my baby. <sighs> okay, pull these bolts over here. There's some fed sealer. Let's get bolt number one on. All right, there we go. Number one. You can go light on the Loctite. You don't have to go super heavy on it. That right there is a properly installed flywheel. We just need to torque it down there. 
71 to 75 foot pounds. Therefore, I'm doing 73, because I like the number. Simple as that. I. I need to go find him. I need his assistance. Do I need to uh, fill up this, the area with the pilot bearing with the grease? Or is it good? Like, I took the grease out. You can look. Um, I would just put a little bit of grease around the edge where it's, and around the edge of the pilot bearing when you go and knock it in. <sighs> That way I can say that it's been successful this weekend. Flywheel is on. Because you don't want to go too heavy on the grease. So mm, you take this, that. try to push it with your hand as far as you can. Okay. Make sure not matter what side. Just, no, just make sure you don't get any dirt in there and the inside is clean too. And line it up as best you can and then basically line up the socket and just start tapping it in. Don't tap super hard, it shouldn't take much. Make sure there's no dirt in it now. Try to line it up as straight as you can. I mean, it's a little crooked, but... It'll start working itself in, but... Just get it on there decent. Enough to where you can get the socket on, and then tap it with a hammer, and it should start going in. That part? Yep. Oh, fuck. Here. Use this. Like, line it up with this. There we go. Oh. And then you can just tap it in. You know what I'm saying? Here. Get the hammer. Oh, yeah. And hang on. It's not quite there. I guess just tap it. Don't go crazy. Now it's at an angle. That looks like it's going yeah, in straight. Going in. No, I'm going to put this so it's flat. There you go. I think it's in here. Yeah. Making progress. It's not in yet. Yeah. It's pretty much there. I think that's that's flush. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Boom. Pilot Barry. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Make sure it lines up straight. How many total uh, bolt holes are there for your pressure plate? There we go. There should be, is there nine? Um, for my pressure plate? Yeah. How many bolts do we got? One, One two, two, three, four, five, six. Only six? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Now, take this puppy. Oh, it's so beautiful. This puppy right here. Do I have to clean that? No, or I would spray the yeah. This. I just would break clean and wipe it. Uh, I need a wipe. I'll get a wipe. Here's this. I don't want it to hit the ground. And, yeah. I got it. I'll get the wipe. Oh, God. Should be straight on. And the nose. That should hold it in place. And you're sure it's completely flat yeah. and even? And then put these puppies on there. You could put Loctite on it if you want. Uh, if you do, just do like a drop. Eh, it's cool. I think it'll be fine without. Why do I only have three? What? I don't mm. have any right here. I don't have anything to screw into here. Or here. Maybe you have it lined up the wrong. Yeah. My bad. Look at me being an amateur. The dowel pin should be in the middle hole, I'm assuming. Yep, I think so. Yeah, that's what it is. Everything's falling.
Okay, so all you need to do here is basically take your throw out bearing and all you're going to do is pretty much try to pull it off. If you pull straight out, you might have to twist a little bit, it should come right off. The new one should slide right on and lock right over the collar. Nice. Disclaimer, this is for daily drift professionals only. Do not try this at home. Alright. <laughs> so basically, he's going to hand me the transmission and it's going to sit down right on my titties. Okay, so I'm gonna be holding this thing right here. Now this is where I'm gonna have to use my muscles. That's why we train so hard in the gym, okay? And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna muscle it up right here. We're gonna jam that sucker on there and he's gonna come in and screw it nice and tight while I hold it. Once it's in, we're gonna put a jack stand and it's gonna hold that puppy right there and then it should be good to go. We'll do the rest of the bolts and we'll be good. So, enjoy. I do think I'm getting closer. Dude, check. Oh, dude. Check it. I think that might have been it. That looks solid. Oh my god, my hand's cramping. I don't want to hear about your hand. <laughs> I'm dying under here. Ah! That's out of my ears. <laughs> Sorry. The Japanese are getting revenge on us for World War II right now. Ah! Sorry. I'm just gonna hold it. Oh, I'm dying. Okay, I'm getting it. To <laughs> okay, that's pretty good up there. Okay, good. Do the bottom one and then go check it. Oh my god. I apologize. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it, so uh, it hasn't hit me, dude. Oh, I'm lucky you. I must have got it stuck in my shorts or something. We did it, guys. We did it. We fucking did it. I mean, we freaking did it. Oh, fuck. That could have been dangerous. Oh, that's the actual jacket. Yeah, it? that could have just killed us both. I'm not gonna. Yeah. We're not gonna be able to save each other, bro. <laughs> I don't think we're strong enough to push this up. We, we could try, but I don't yeah, think but I, I, I'd be losing a leg. My, my, yeah, but I mean, you know, my bench is very strong, so <laughs> I'm going to be sitting here like this, like, oh, fuck. Yeah, but, our, but hey, wait a second, wait a second. Our leg press and our squats are strong, and we just got to get our legs up. You, we, 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 no, we, we, would be, we would be screwed. Yeah. That's, that's let's, let's not bump the jack stands. That's okay. I like that idea. That's why we want to lift. Like a, like an automotive lift, not not like lift weights. We we we, 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 already, do, we, we do already do that. <laughs> do you think we're annoying people with the fact that we told we lift already? I don't care. Do I mean, it's true. There is nothing wrong with going to the gym, people. The gym is a fun place. It's actually the most ignored form of therapy. There is studies to show that it's good for you. It helps your brain. It releases endorphins. It makes you healthy. It makes you look sexy, which is what everyone wants. All right, guys. Sorry about this, but our camera ended up screwing up on us and we missed some of the footage all we were doing was tightening up a few bolts putting on the slave cylinder um, nothing fancy reinstalling the drive shaft um, it's literally complete opposite of what we did in the, our previous video so yeah we just finished that up and then uh, pretty soon the next steps are gonna be actually installing the turbocharger hopefully in the next episode so look forward to that <laughs> What's up guys? Alright, so we just finished up uh, working on the Miata, put it in the clutch. We got everything bolted back up, got the transmission, drive shaft, everything done. We're just really tired right now. I fell over with the camera off. Camera died on us at one point, but we're good now. Um, we just need to eat. Oh, yeah, I'm like so a huge, 
ass Hawaiian pizza. I'm sorry, guys. Pineapple. If you guys don't like pineapple on pizzas, something's wrong with you. Yeah, add some jalapeno <laughs> like, on there, too. Yes. You always got it. Jalapeno, pineapple, and pepperoni on a pizza is amazing. People Ham think, if you can. People think we're weird for having mm -hmm. pineapple on pizza. Like, guys, it's pineapple. It. It's delicious. It's fruit. Yeah. It's good for you. It's, it's about healthy, the bro. only thing on pizza that's good for you, okay? Um, Anyway, also we got the ACT clutch, so we're gonna, it's the heavy duty, we're gonna find out how well it works at the next drift event. Um, hopefully it works well, because I paid way too much money for it, and if it doesn't work well, I'm gonna be a little bit sad, but yeah. we'll let you guys know so that you guys don't have to go through the pain that I might have to go through. Um, yeah, and if you guys ever, if you guys are doing a clutch or anything like that, and you guys have questions or something, just post it down in the comments. Let us know. We'll let you know, like, any kind of problems that we went through. We'll try to show it as much as we can in here. I'd like to add to that. Yeah. Uh, if you have a Miata specifically, there's a Miata form that we're going to post in the comment section right below. It's great. It helped us through it as well. There were a couple bolts that we didn't even know about. Just remember, keep drifting fun. That's all you got to do.